Good day to everybody and how are you all? This is Grazy and this is Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. Welcome to the second part of my alternative fire lighting series where today I'm going to show you how to process down fat wood which I harvested quite a while ago. It's just been sat around doing nothing. Uh, I've also made some uh, wax wood which I put in my social media feeders and some magnesium. I'm going to process them down today and then I'm going to uh, package them up. Hope you enjoy this one. Fat wood. What's fat wood good for? What it is, is when a resinous conifer tree dies, all of the resin will drop down to the limbs. And what the resin does, it uh, transports all of the nutrients that the tree needs. So when that limb doesn't need any of the nutrients anymore after it dies, it will drop down. Gravity takes its, takes its course. What's good about it is fat wood. As you can see there, it's quite it's completely saturated this pine wood here in the resin. The resin has got quite a, a turpenty smell uh, and it's also highly flammable. It will take a ferro rod spark very, very easily, or if you're not confident in using one of them, just a lighter straight away. So to process this down, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can either chip it down with your knife to make uh, curls or just larger shavings or we can turn it into something we call Maya dust what you would need to do to make Maya dust I'm using my saw but what you need is something with a sharp 90 degree edge on the side we don't use the bevel end of a knife because we need that for other purposes and that's why we use the, the other end so all we're going to do is just put the 90 degree on the edge turn it 45 degrees and then scrape, furiously, furiously scrape it like you've never scraped before. Some might say you might have to do this quicker than a danger wank. And already I can smell the resinous um, material coming out. It gives off quite a piney turban turpentine smell and just with a little bit of elbow grease there as you can see I've made enough for a shot of fire starter there we go and that there is some fat wood processed down a lot more gotta keep going I've gotta keep going it's actually about the same colour as James Paget's boy band hair. True story. Exactly the same. However, this is homemade waxwood. Got a piece of pine wood that wasn't resinous. And then I battened it down. And then boiled it in um, citronella wax, just because I like the smell. And the principle applies exactly the same. And this here works exactly the same as Maya dust or fatwood shavings. It's not as dark, however, it does exactly the same job. Finally, a magnesium. Magnesium you have to be careful with, okay? Safety warning. This stuff is highly reactive to heat. I'm sure some of you have done it in uh, chemistry at school when you set on fire and it was just hotter than a thousand suns. This uh, is good once it's heated up to get everything else a go because it's so hot. But just be very, very careful. 90 degree edge again. And then exactly the same. This cost me about three pound off eBay. Okay. Fat wood will cost you roughly round about five quid for a couple of sticks off Amazon or eBay. However, I know where I'm looking um, and I know where to find it. 
and you can make this out of old candles and an old pot heated up okay so it doesn't have to be expensive okay you can literally just use some of the resources that you've got let's go set them on fire little ferro rod There you go. It gives off a really pleasant smell. The more you have of this, the more it will burn, and the longer it will burn. Right here we've got the waxwood. Just going to use the ferro rod again. Smells of set ranella. Delightful. As you can see, all the shavings just down here. I need to be careful this one. Fatwood, waxwood, magnesium, all great alternate st uh, fire starters. If you can get hold of some, you can get them on eBay. Uh, you can buy them all on eBay uh, or Amazon. Uh, or you can just go out, do a little bit of research, look out how to find them or make them, and then go give it a go yourself. Hope you've enjoyed that one. I'm Grazy. This is Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. See you next time.